So here it is guys, the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo Shield. The shoe comes with an outer material which is waterproof to keep your feet dry. The sealed sims also help keep water out. The outsole design has channels to quickly help shed water for traction. Sticky rubber helps enhance grip. The lightweight shoe has a secure feel to it. Inside you get this booty system which wraps around your foot like a sock but offers breathable comfort. The laces are easy to adjust so you can personalise your fit. The zip on the outside is easy to get on and off. The adjustable hook and loop closure at the ankle offers a secure and comfortable fit. The midsole, as you'd expect, is Nike's Zoom X Foam, which provides energy return. The shoe comes with plenty of reflective elements, which is awesome when you're running when it's dark. The shoe over here in the UK at the moment is just under £170. What's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description below. There's loads of awesome things down there. Right, so here it is, the Nike Pegasus Turbo Shield. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here we go, the Nike Pegasus uh, Turbo Shield. Um, if you've not seen the video, check out my video on the 36, the Pegasus 36 shield. Um, if you watch that, you'll realise that I am not 100% happy with it. Um, and if you watch that, you'll find out why. Hence why I bought these. Um, this is my kind of uh, first impressions of this shoe. Uh, I'm going to do a follow-up video uh, about this shoe. Um, but I wanted to get this out to you straight away because I've seen a lot of questions on it. Um, so I've taken these out for a run. I've got a marathon on Sunday. I needed to do a nice easy 5K. Um, so I threw away the watch and just went out there and poodled along, which was quite nice. I enjoyed myself. And the good thing is, over here in the UK, I don't know where you are in the world, but it's been hammering it down all day. So it was nice and wet. So these bad boys actually got a good run out um, in the conditions that they'll probably have to do most of their work in. So what did I think? Um, well, firstly, they were super comfortable um, and... I'm not new to this technology, and the reason this is going to sound a bit weird, um, I actually play golf well, one in, also when I'm not running, um, and Nike have bought out in the past um, similar versions of golf shoes in the winter that have this sort of sock, booty, whole all-in-one system to protect you from the elements. Um, and I've had a couple of pairs of them, uh, Nike golf shoes um, that do the same sort of thing. And so this whole design is not new to me. And I must compliment Nike because uh, I always put those shoes on in the winter and they do an absolutely superb job of keeping my feet warm and dry when I'm out there playing golf in winter. Uh, and like uh, some of you guys probably know over here in the UK, it gets very mucky and horrible in the winter. So when you're out on the golf course, uh, they do a great job. So I'm really pleased to see this come over onto the uh, the running shoes because it's a really good idea. Where the Nike Pegasus uh, 36 have the lacing uh, and all that sort of stuff, this has really improved on that and, and the um, whole sealing of your foot, making it waterproof, uh, is a great idea and it is and it is super, super cool. I ran for a few puddles tonight, uh, deliberately, and my foot stayed dry, as you'd expect. So what we've got is we've got this lacing, um, lacing we've got this zipping system here which covers the lacing system, which is in here. Um, this on the ankle does up nice and tight, which is great. And then you've got like, as I say, you've got this one piece inner, which is like, uh, like a kind of wetsuit neoprene material. Um, you've got this, which goes here, which again, um, you just put over so you can adjust that to make it as tight or as untight as you want, which is great. I actually had them quite loose, um, and it's the same in my gold shoes, I had them quite loose. Uh, they're very easy to put on. You've got this um, support here, so you can just slip them on, and you've got one at the back as well. So again, so you kind of slip them on like a, like as I say, like a, a wetsuit boot, really. Um, then you just lock them in, seal them in, and off you go. As you'd expect with the Nike Pegasus Turbo shoe, they perform very well. Um, 
The midsole is the Nike Zoom X um, again, uh, so you get that great energy return. So they do everything the Nike uh, Pegasus Turbo um, 2 does, but you, have see, yeah, um, you get this sort of winter protection with it, which is a great idea, guys. It really is, because um, I don't know, I'll show you these. Look, these I wore the other day to a half marathon in London, and look how ruined they are. And it was absolutely disgusting that day. Um, so I'm really pleased that they bought these out. They've also got plenty of uh, reflective elements, which is cool, which crosses over from the uh, Shield range this year. Lots more reflective elements on the shoe, which is great to see here, here, and here. Um, these come in a black black as well. Um, so if you're not digging the purple. The only problem I have with this shoe, and here it comes, the Nike Turbo outsole is not as good as the um, normal Pegasus 36 uh, Shield outsole. The wet traction outsole on the 36, the standard Pegasus, is awesome. And this is where I worry about this. Now, this is great. You've got the channels which will move water. Um, but the problem I have with it at the moment, and I'm not sure, and this is why I'll come back and uh, we'll see how we get on with these, is how this is really going to hold up versus the outer on the um, standard 36 shield because uh, that outer is amazing. It's very deep, the rubber on it, and you can just feel, you know, it, it, with the wet traction rubber on it, how sticky it is. This feels a little bit slippery, um, and I don't know how it's gonna hold up that well. The other thing for me um, is where I go down the trails, uh, down the canals, Actually, I'll bring that shoe back down. I don't know which one it was, but I wear these down uh, the trails, and they and they look. If you see, I've been taking lumps out of them down the canals. Now, not everyone's going to do that, so uh, this is only my personal experience, my personal view. But this um, midsole is quite um, delicate um, in some circumstances. But yeah, I'm running down canal paths with you know stones and all sorts down it, so that might be a little concern, but. Does that outweigh what the shoe offers me with regards to protection against the elements? I think it does actually. Um, these are going to be a great shoe during the winter, in particular when it gets really mucky and really horrible out there. When I'm marathon training through the winter, I think these are going to be a great shoe to, to slip on and, and knock out some training runs. So there you go guys, that's my first impressions. Nike Zoom X um, is a great shoe. Uh, Nike Zoom X, <laughs> Nike, the Nike Pegasus Turbo, so I'm reading that. The Nike Pegasus Turbo 2 Shield is a great shoe. Um, if you're looking for a winter running shoe, check this out. I would also recommend though, checking out the Pegasus 36 GTX. Check that out. It's a more of a trail shoe. The um, outsole on it is, is proper lumpy but it's got Gore-Tex on it, and that might, if you don't fancy this whole booty system, you're worried about getting hot and all that sort of stuff, or like me, maybe a bit concerned about the midsole, but check those out, the GTX um, Pegasus 36. That looks a good shoe as well. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That's my first impressions. I like it. I dig all this. A bit worried about that. Let's see how we get on.